Hey guys, in this lesson, we are going to introduce you PC software. It is a software that can control, program, and debug robotic on own computer. It provides graphics programming interface, and you can drag to control it directly. Software can be found under the same directory and do not need to install. Double click to open PC software. There are two options in the upper left corner. The servo task is used to debug servo such as single servo ID selling indicator, which is important and useful for users with unassembled robotic arm. Specific operation instruction is explained in advanced lesson. This lesson will mainly talk about normal mode. The main interface of PC software is divided into five parts. This is device connection stator. This is servo control area. Here's the action data list. This area is action group setting area. Here is the server setting area. Okay, after learning about the main interface, let's get started. First of all, connect the controller to computer through USB cable and then switch on the robotic arm. At this time, we can find that the indicator turns green, which means the connection is successful. If you want to operate the robotic arm quickly, you can drag slider to control the servo directly in servo control area. There are six sliders that is used to control six servos on robotic arm. Please do not drag the slider too quickly to synchronize with the robotic arm. Except that, you can also right click or long press mouse to make fun of the adjustment. Servo value range from 0 to 1000. After adjusting the servo, click add action. And the action data is displayed in the action data list. Then continue to add action. Do not forget to click Add Action after programming. If you want to delete one of actions, you can select the action and then click Delete Action. For example, if you want to modify the last action, you can click Update Action after modifying. You can also double click the corresponding server value to modify in the server data list. And do not need to click Update Action after modifying. Same method can be used to modify running time. The time unit is milliseconds. Now continue to drag the slider. What if you want to insert the action before the first action? You can select the first action firstly and then click insert action. Click the black triangle icon next to the action number to run the corresponding action respectively, which is convenient for debugging and checking. I will briefly introduce mailing coding and red angle. Click menu coding to lose the joints of robotic arm. Red angle can read the angle information and display it in server data list after menu coding. Okay, let's look at the performance. Click run online to run the program action. Click Reset Servo to return the robotic arm to the initial posture. If you want to rapidly run this action, you can click Loop. The specific action programming tutorial will be explained in the next lesson. After the action is programmed, don't forget to click Save Action File for future debugging. The function of integrate action file will be explained in the next lesson. Okay, now download the action group into the controller. Please know that each action group can hold up 1020 actions. Click open action file and choose the action you need to download. Here take number 20 action group as example. Then choose the action group number. There are 230 action group numbers in total, can be downloaded. And the number 100 action group is the default action group for offline running. For better realization effect, you'd better download action group to the corresponding number. Therefore, choose 20 here. Click Erase to delete all data of the current action group. Be careful, when clicking Erase All, all the data of action groups from 0 to 230 will be deleted and cannot be restored. If you want to check any one of action groups in controller, you can choose the corresponding action group number and then click Run.
want to stop the running robotic arm, you can click stop. Okay, this is the end of the video. Please have a try.